Schools and colleges are reopening this autumn for everyone. This is because the number of people with coronavirus in England has reduced. The NHS test and trace system is up and running and we understand more about the measures that need to be put in place to keep everyone safe in school. We need to remember that there are still risks while coronavirus remains in the community and that is why we need to follow some simple measures to keep us, our friends and families safe. If you or anyone in your household get symptoms of the coronavirus, a cough, a high temperature or loss of taste or smell, you should stay at home and not come to school or college. The person who has the symptoms should get a test through the NHS test and trace system and inform your school or college of the results. While you're waiting for the results, everyone in your household must stay at home and only leave the house in an emergency or to get a test themselves if they also become unwell. It is important to only get a test for coronavirus if you have symptoms yourself or you have been advised to by a medical professional. If you have been contacted by NHS Test and Trace and told to self-isolate for 14 days, you must stay at home and not come to school or college. We all need to clean our hands more often than usual either with soap and water, or if that's not available, with hand sanitizer. We should always clean our hands when we arrive at school or college, when we come back from break times, before and after eating are especially important. Be careful to catch any coughs or sneezes with a tissue. Throw it away immediately, then wash or sanitize your hands. This will help in stopping the spread of any illness. If you don't have a tissue at hand, then make sure to sneeze into the crook of your elbow like this. Catch it, bin it, kill it. All of the schools and colleges are working very hard to make it a safer environment for everyone. Services are being cleaned more frequently. There are hand washing and sanitising stations. And markers around the building will keep people further apart. Stay within your year group or bubble and keep two metres apart from other people. If you see your friends, you can say hi from a distance. Waving or nodding and talking from a two metre distance will help to stop the spread of the virus. The closer we are to each other, the easier it is to catch the virus and spread it to loved ones, putting their lives in danger. If you are able to, walk or cycle to school or college. If you get the school bus, you may be asked to sit in the same seat each day and the bus will be cleaned regularly. If you are aged over 11 years, please wear a face covering on the school bus or the public bus unless you're in one of the groups that the law excuses from wearing a face covering. If you get the public bus, you must follow the advice to wear a face covering at all times, as long as you are over 11 years old and are not in one of the groups that the law excuses from wearing a face covering. You should sanitise your hands before you either throw your face covering in a covered bin or put a reusable one in a plastic bag so that you can take it home to wash it. Then wash your hands before going into a classroom. It is normal to feel confused or overwhelmed by everything that is going on at the moment. If you are struggling or want extra support, go to these pages. Thurrock's very own school wellbeing service are also on hand to help. Hello, my name is Tony. I'm a senior practitioner and I work for the school wellbeing service in Thurrock. We launched the service last October with an aim to support all schools in Thurrock to create mentally healthy environments for students, staff and the wider community. In response to coronavirus, we created a wellbeing support line for parents, carers and school staff. Please contact us if you would like to discuss any concerns or issues relating to your child or young person's wellbeing. As well as the helpline, we are working with schools in other ways to support them with their students' wellbeing during the transition back to school. It will be an exciting time coming back to school and some people might be nervous. But if we all work together to keep our distance, wash our hands and follow the rules as much as we can, we can all enjoy learning and being back together again. Remember, if you get any symptoms of coronavirus, please stay at home and get a test. I'm looking forward to meeting new people and getting back to a routine. I'm looking forward to new subjects, especially drama. Going back to the computer room and going on the computers. It's going back to PE because I like dancing. 